All right, we over here at Jonathan W's this morning, and we got this custom body work Silverado right here. Um, and we're gonna pull the engine swap out of it. And it's got the 5.3 4L60, and we're gonna pull this drive line out to put in a uh, Oh, I think it's a 58 ton and a half truck that he's got that's in fantastic shape. And it's got a straight six in it. It's geared pretty low. So it doesn't make a great driver. So we're gonna we're gonna pull this engine swap out and stick in there and make him a really nice driver. So that's what we're doing this morning. And we've got the radiator and most of the accessories off of it. Um, we've unplugged the wiring from the cab, and I think we're just gonna take the forklift and scoop the cab up off of it To where we can get to the engine really easy, and then we're gonna snag it out so I think we're to the point to where We're about ready to pick the cab up And then we'll be down to the business part up so We'll hang tight and we'll show you as we go All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, hold up, hold up. That might work. All right, so we got the giddy now. All right, here's the swap candidate right here. It's a 58. It was a fire truck, and if you guys want a little backstory on this thing, you can search Jonathan's videos. He's got one, at least one or two on this truck right here. Um, the brake system's been worked all the way through. He said it stops on a dime. He's put Lake Model One Piece uh, 19.5 rims on here. So it's got modern tires and rubber on it or modern wheels and rubber on it. Um, truck is in immaculate shape. So, like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna take that swap and put in here. And uh, Jonathan and myself have discussed it and I think the easiest and quickest and simplest way to do this is the motor transmission and fuel system so we'll use the tank and everything out of this truck here and that way it's supported with the the fuel system that that was designed for it so we don't have to redesign anything we can use all the fuel lines and everything that goes with it and um so basically it'll be fabricating mounts to mount the motor the engine mounts and the transmission mount and um, 
should be fairly simple. So that's where we're at right now. And um, so we'll get this engine out the frame, get the fuel system out the frame, and then we'll get this get the 58 over here and pull the engine out of it and start figuring it all out. So y'all hang tight. Alright, I think I think we got everything unhooked now. We're fixing to find out real quick like. Now I'm fixing to video me, videoing you, videoing it all. All right, let's set this thing out of the way. Nice truck, man. So we rolling down the driveway. This thing is sweet. This handles up here on the inside. Not be videoing and driving down. Alright, so we're looking at this thing. It's got all the gauges in the cluster. Look at the floor pans in this thing. Oops. Even the footwells. I mean, well, somebody's put footwells in it, but still, this thing is, man, it's. It is some uh, clean. I like it. Alright, so you got it out of there. You got it sitting right here. Reckon we got room in there? Mm, I don't know. But if we cut that steering box off, put it on the rear axle, and steer the rear instead of the front, that's what we'll be up here in the bus. Alright. Alright, so we're going to do the initial trial fit here. What's well, in there? It's in there. Looking pretty good. We'll get, get the transmission jacked up and see how it falls out. What do you think? It's in there now. Bolt everything up. 
Give me a sec. All right, so we got this motor sitting in here. Just sitting in here, and we got the transmission just setting up. It's not centered or anything. So we're going to roll it up here to the welder and to this antique antique hoist right here so that we can uh, do some finagling with it. I like that thing, man. That's pretty sharp right there. Oh boy. Do an engine swap on my engine hoist. We got the computer off to be sent off to eliminate the vats and the emission codes. We pulled the alternator power steering bracket off to make a little room so we can finagle it around and then this truck doesn't have power steering on it so we'll take the pump off and Jonathan will build an idler for it and um well we'll um get this thing all centered up Jonathan's gonna make some mounts and rig up a cross member and then we'll start weeding out wires on this engine harness because right now we pulled the engine harness and the light harness and all that stuff so we'll eliminate the wires we don't need and uh, get her ready to fire up pretty cool stuff It'll be a tough old truck. All right, we got a little tip for you guys that are doing swaps on these old Chevrolets. If you want to make a transmission cross member, if you can find a transmission cross member for a second generation F body. This this cross member here come out of a, like a 78 Camaro or whatever. It's the right width for the frame rails. It's got a nice little drop in the center. And you can adjust your height from the cross member. If, if it bolting to the frame rail right here, just sitting on the frame rail, doesn't get your transmission hype good you can take a piece of two by two angle and bolt it to your bolt it to your cross member and then drill through your frame and uh, get your height adjusted the way you want um, also if the rail width is a little too wide you can use your two by two angle to make up the difference but uh that makes a nice Cross member, it's high, it's got humps in it for your exhaust. Um, it, it's already got your mount made in it. I mean, it's it really makes things a lot easier when you do that. So, if you can find one, and they're getting hard to find, I don't know if they make it aftermarket or not, but a cross member out of a second generation F body is perfect. And this is just kind of stuck in there for for now just to see we got the we got it kind of centered up but we need to get on our level and everything but that uh that sets it up almost perfect um that's a really really cool cross member works really nice just keep that in mind all right so the factory truck manifolds on this thing we're hitting the steering box so we picked up some uh, some uh, s10 swap headers from a friend of ours and um, they're gonna allow plenty of room uh, it motor needs to come over this way a little bit 
because it's on the frame on the other side but we've got plenty of room we can split the difference and uh, it will be just fine so I think it avoided some issues here that we might have had you can see it's that header's right on the frame but like I said we split the difference between that side and this side and it should fit pretty nice so that's kind of what we got going on it started raining here so that's gonna slow the work down a little bit we got, we got things covered up got things covered up kind of see if we can wait the rain out but I think it'll be fine um, once it clears off today or tomorrow get on designing out the mounts and should be good to go.